One, two, three. Keep it early. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I knew a girl called Susie. She had a problem with me. All her lifetime, she was looking for a remedy. To the bridge now, Lee. I'm Rob Chapman. <laughs> I'm the captain. Well, that's how you start a video. It is, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You start singing about a random yeah, person. Yeah, that girl, that she couldn't know. get enough of that D chord. Because she could loved she? D chords. She loves the it D chords. Let's be honest with you. Just a couple of fingers in the right place. Absolutely. Well, three, strictly speaking. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah. Basically, having watched Kenny Wayne Shepherd's incredible review of the uh, Fender Professional series, I kind of thought, you know what? You're not going to get a lot better than that, really. Mm. So why not just have a bit of fun? And we're never going to beat him for technique. Let's go comedy instead. Yes. And then we've got a chance. So it is probably, by the time you're watching this video, 2017. It might be late 2016, but I suspect it's 2017. Um, and Fender have replaced the long-standing and excellent range uh, that is the American Standard Series Stand with... The, uh, yeah, let's stand by. With, Actually, I just turned um, up because I was, I was oh, just okay. a little bit too quiet for my own liking. Um, with a range of guitars called the American Professional Series, and that covers strats, tellies, um, you know, P basses, jazz basses, jazz masters, Jaguars, all that kind of stuff. But we're just focusing on the Stratomacasters mm. in this fine and dandy video. Today. They've done a lot of really, really cool little tweaks and changes that make you just want to go out and buy one, as Rabia and I noticed earlier when we were looking at things that lice and make nice sounds. And there are so many changes. <clears throat> Let's start with the really simple ones, shall we? Do it. For example, they've got these beautiful new pickups, which are called V-Mod. And they come with a variety of Van Eco magnets inside to give you a balanced yep. uh, volume response from the strings. They've got it's, a dude, uh, haven't they, called Tim Shaw. That's the dude. Who is their kind of pickup expert. Mm. And about two years ago, you started seeing humbuckers called Shawbuckers. He had a really imaginative concept for the name of his humbuckers. Yeah, Shawbuckers. <laughs> uh, but he's now redesigned all these. And from what I understand, and again, please create the meme now 
of, you know, obviously Jimi Hendrix uh, being dreadful at Woodstock because he didn't have balanced pickups in his Strat. Um, I but, think it's cool. But the idea is, is yeah, by using different um, strength magnets. And one of the things they are doing, which I thought, as far as I'm aware, hasn't been done before, is by actually voicing each pickup very slightly different, depending on whether it's going to be the neck, uh, middle or bridge pickup. But what they're trying to do across the strings is balance out the relative kind of volumes of each set string so that you're so that you're well let's um, let the viewers test that shall we so here, here's an e string with a clean tone on my beautiful tone king which i'm in love with frankly here's the e. which one was louder were they both the same well i guess they're supposed to be both the same aren't obviously they? there was pick error there i mean i could have been picking harder um, for one string and not the other i don't know i mean Let's play, a, let's, play a, let's play a chord with all the notes in it. Certainly. I just thought maybe trying some upper string chords. They're That's the, my they're the good one. ones, yeah, jazz. This is my other favourite one. Man. <laughs> so, so we have V mod pickups, and and all the pickups across the entire range have been uh, changed. Um, then we have a change to the neck profile, <clears throat> and from what I kind of, they've gone for what they're calling now a deep C. So kind of like, you know, it goes from, from the Jacques Cousteau signature. From little to burg, little to burg, <laughs> like that. So you didn't get my deep sea gag, did I you? I did, but you I tried did, to ignore it. Was it. So it was so No, it was good, actually. Um, I used to watch Jacques Cousteau. He was, he was like... Uh, he was like a great the, detective. He's like the, the aqua version of David Attenborough, isn't he? Just massively less aqua. well known. You know, they actually released a really good song. No, they didn't. They did. I'm a Barbie girl. No, 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 that was, that was just a fun world. joke. Get them in the charts. And then it was Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. I don't Calling remember. Dr. Jones. Oh, I do remember. I do remember that. But then they had, if only I could turn back time. And that was actually sick. It should I'm, be a metal cover. Of I'm it. worried as to how you know even any songs that Aqua have done. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a European wife. That's all she sings is Aqua. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, Lee, what happened there? <laughs> oh, you just pulled my arm out. How do I manage that? Okay, so that's another. We've leapt really to a, a bit of detail now. So the, the trim system has been changed on the, the American professional Strat. Um, <laughs> Which I kind of think is one of the, one of the things Wait, that... It's, it's a guitar seeking one. Look, look, look. Where's the water? Oh, that's very clever. I see your divining rods. Like... See that? It immediately Whoa. knows. It's because it's looking for a good guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> They're faulty. They're faulty. So the, on the old strats, you would screw them in, uh, the trem arms, you'd screw them in. There was a little spring that sat underneath it that kind of made sure there was enough tension against the... Um, what do you call the bits on a screw? What do you call those things? Grub. No, like the actual rim. No, the, the thread. <laughs> there was always tension against the thread. So if you moved the arm to kind of here, it kind of would stay there. Uh, now what we've got is um, one with like a nylon thread in it. Uh, he says badly demonstrating this because it did actually do this. In mine is might absolutely why perfect. Mine is Let's just be honest. Fender have just for the first time gone, you know what, other companies do this a little bit oh, better I see than why. our traditional version. No, I'm bit, what they've added, which obviously haven't tightened up on mine, is there's the, little, tension is the grub screw on the yeah, back the, here. Actually, there's a grub screw on the back of lots of other guitar brands. Yep. And um, I think it's great, but it is just Fender have gone, you know what, other companies do yep. this a bit better than us. And now, I mean, it's just... <laughs> So take two seconds to take the tremolo arm out, push it back in again, and adjust the grub screw to how, you know, if you like it so that the tremolo arm falls away when you're not using it, that's fine. If you'd prefer it stayed there, just tighten the grub screw up just a smidgen. If you want it back where Dime would put it, you could do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, now the frets are different on these, and I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm really noticing it or not, but they are very- well, is, They're a bit longer, but they're a bit thinner. They're narrow. They're narrower this way yeah. and taller I'll see if I can do it. Taller this way. Uh, it's just like Rabia is right now. Yes. What they say is that it should help improve uh, the sort of intonation of your guitar. 
as you go further up the neck. <laughs> Sorry, that laugh wasn't because I think that's not mm. true, but it's because I don't think that's not true. <laughs> it's just a, I think it, basically these frets, I mean, these, these are cool frets, but lots of companies use these kind of frets. Do they? Yeah. I thought everybody kind of just used the normal old medium jumbos, but... Oh, there are, you, there's been lots of different kinds of fret wire on the market for years and years and years. I, gar I guarantee you, you, you go to Warmoth and you select your fret wire or fret wire land or fret wire fairy will come and fix some different kinds of fret wire. Basically, it's a different kind of feel, isn't it? I don't know. I a don't lot think of people it, I don't, don't like any... the jumbo-ness. Yeah, I don't think it feels any different to the one I had before. You know, the thing but... is, the second you get a stringed instrument and you touch the string to a fret, intonations, depending on how hard you play and the gauge of string you got and... Yeah, you would think the, the, position the, the, the tall of the fret means that if you push harder, you'd, 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 you'd make the string go sharp more. Well, if you, you press but... hard, yeah, that's the thing, Yeah, but I guess that's the technique. You've got to just press gently. That's what she said. Um, other stuff on here um, is uh, real bone nut. So obviously, can't buy one of these guitars if you're vegetarian anymore, just like you can't pay for it with five pound notes either. Um, you've got... Uh, Treble bleed circuit, so meaning that as I drop the volume <coughs> down, and we can demonstrate that, as I drop the volume down, it shouldn't, like old strats do, it shouldn't make the uh, the tone sound uh, darker. If anything, it sounds brighter as you go down. Yeah, it's a bit softer, isn't it, as you as you sort of go down, but it's not um it's not uh, brighter as such. Uh, sorry, it's not really losing any of that treble. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of different colours, in, including some quite new and nice colours like the uh what is that kind of I don't even I can't remember what the word for this or what the name of this colour is, but it's is like, it like a sort a of a primer grey, isn't it? Or yeah, a, I'm gonna say yes. Or some sort of but anyway, so all the colours uh, for all the American series will fly across the screen now. Mm. Choices of maple necks and rosewood necks. Uh, so they've kept that very popular feature from the previous range, which is the lacquered uh, fretboard on the maple neck one, but the satin uh, <coughs> back of the back of the neck. So you kind of, you get the kind of nice glossy feel and sound on off the fretboard, but you get that slightly less sticky feel on so the back of the neck. Should I give them a couple of little tonages then? I think you should. Let me tune it first though. Comes with nines. Oh, well, actually, that's a good point while we're talking about it. One of the things I've noticed straight out the box with all of the American Pro Series we've had so far is, is Fender are definitely sending them through with a much more pronounced kind of floating trem system. So let me turn it this way around, you can see. So you can see that the, the tremolo set is sitting one or two mil off of the fretboard. Can you see that on close-up cam? Um, now, Rob doesn't really like that, do you? No, no. It that's not the case with mine. The case with mine was it was riding up as I tuned it. Oh, okay. So it hadn't been set up. But with a couple of screws of the, of the springs, it's perfectly Flip positioned. it round. Flip it round. Flip Let it me round. show what people... So we've taken the back plate off of this. It should look like... should have a back plate on it like that. All I did was I screwed these in uh, three turns, and then it was perfect. Yeah. I mean, mechanically, a trim system, if you've never seen one before, is incredibly simple. Uh, this is fixed to the body. You can have uh, anything from sort of three to five springs here, depending on how much tension you want. And the idea is to balance the force of the strings pulling in one direction with the force of the springs Great pulling bend. in the other direction. Uh, and all you do to adjust that is just screw that claw in or release it a little bit more until you're happy. Yeah. If you're like me and on my strap, what I tend to do is I like to have the uh, tremolo system flat to the body so that if I do a quick drop detune or anything like that it doesn't cause the rest of the strings to go out of tune. You literally would just put two more springs on there, tighten them up, it sits flat to the body and then... Set yeah, the yeah, and then off you go and it's a nice But then easy... what you can't do is, you know, you, you get no back lift so you can't... I've got quite... I've got more than a semitone. Almost. So you've got two, a whole tone. A whole tone of, yeah. of back lift there, which I think is kind of, you know, correct. That's sort of, I think, as probably the original As nature was, intended. Well, yeah, that's kind of what it's supposed <clears throat> to. It's a really nice feeling. Obviously, it's the two pivot. If you're not familiar with Fender tremolo systems of the last probably 20 years or so, it's a it's a two pivot system. It's not like the old vintage ones where you had six screws that held the... the um, Trem in place, and the idea behind that is it's much more likely to return to its correct tuning. Yeah. 
the old vintage style, excessive use of the trim would invariably mean that it didn't quite return to where it would naturally sit before. And, mm. and, and you used to see people even take some of the screws out to kind of let it flow a bit better. Let it flow a bit better. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. <laughs> see, you it's still not, got the Christmas spirit. I know, it's obvious that's the problem with us shooting videos at this time of year that you're not going to see until our, you're probably sick of Christmas now, aren't yeah. you? But, uh, you know what, the planet would have exploded and died and we'll still have, there'll be videos about to come out. Absolutely, yeah. Um, uh, right, I didn't give them tones. Two tones. You'll discover it's creamy. But I like it stepped off just one position because I find that gives you that woody quack. Now, step to back one more for you. <laughs> and then right on the bridgey. And on the floor I got a selection of fingers pointing to new colours, Sonic Grey. Sonic Grey. This is a Sonic Grey coloured guitar. On the floor, underneath my lyrics about Susie and how much she likes D, D chords, I've got, <laughs> I've got a Thunderclaw and I've got a Mud Honey 2. Uh, which actually sounds great. So I've got a bit of a crunch tone here. That chord is, is, is uh, the intro chord to Hard Day's Night by the Beatles. Or it, it, it sounds, it probably isn't, but if you play that, which, which, the, the which very one? first. It's been a hard <laughs> <Yeah>. day's <laughs> night. Well, that's good. I probably stole it from them then. It probably isn't that chord. It's a but... minor 11. If you stack the Thunderclaw with the Mud Honey, you get a Mud Claw. <laughs> mud Honey 2 has a second button, which is why it's the 2, which gives you even more. Without the claw, sorry. Great, this amplifier's got America in it. <laughs> or I say it's got America in it. It's got the most American sound, I think. When I hear this, I think of America. I think of uh, all the delicious food, my friends. I just enjoy everything about that, really. <laughs> you, <Not me. laughs> you will not stop, will you? As you may have, uh, those eagle-eyed amongst you may have spotted, there are, are there going eagles to be, watching our channel. Then? There are eagles watching. There are going to be three versions of the American Pro uh, Professional Strat. The uh, SSS, which is not some sort of so third Reich sold. German uh, division. It's the three single coil version. The HSS, which is the humbucker and uh, two single coils. And the HH for two humbuckers. So um, now I'm gonna show you, because these humbuckers are pretty fierce. 
Uh, this is my amplifier, which is a, a, a Victory Sheriff or, or into channel one with the volume halfway, which means with no pedals and nothing. I get that kind of very slight nice breakup. Go to the humbucker, man, listen to this. What difference. What bodywood is that? I would, this is ash. Um, and I think, and this has been fairly uh, typical across the Fender range for um, a while now, is depending on the colour. So if you go for like a burst, and I suspect your the solid colours are all older bodies, and then they'll do one or two kind of flashy finishes yeah, with an ash body. Yeah, that is a beautiful looking body. Yeah. Isn't it? Um, it is very pretty, slightly more pronounced grain on an, on an ash body. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then it, I've got two pedals on the floor. I've got one that is simply a boost pedal. Um, so this is the boost. And then one which is more of a traditional drive. <laughs> Just if you want to know, uh, the second one there was a full tone Plimsoll, which is still available. The first one is a really old T Rex luxury drive. Luxury or mystery? Luxury. luxury. Luxury drive, which isn't available anymore. But I'm thinking about talking to T Rex about maybe seeing if we can reintroduce it somehow because oh. it's my one of my favourite just straight boost pedals. I've always called luxury boost when my live sound guy, James, hi James, we call him Pringle. Uh, just turns me up uh, front of house. Oh, you, so, so it's like solo boost. time. He knows it's solo time and he goes whoop, and just turns you up. You haven't got to do anything at all. That is a luxury. It's a luxury boost. It's a bearded man turning you um, up. Do you want to play the HH or do you want me to play the HH? I'll have a go. Give some tones on the HH. Okay, so despite the fact that it might look you know, a bit sort of Les Paul inspired from a from a pickup point of view. The, the thing it does very differently is with the five way switch. I think it's kind of a bit sort of PRS inspired there. So your positions uh, one, three, and five are, as you would expect, you know, humbucker, both humbuckers, the other humbucker. Two and four uh, split, coil split the, the pickups, and one of them gives you the two outside coils together, and the other one gives you the two inside coils. Let's together. listen to that now. That was two. Oh, the, is, that, is that two That's or four? That's two, I think. Okay, yeah. this is two. So, it's, so this one, position two, is a bit brighter, so I would guess it's the two outside coils. That's really nice. So really anybody nice. that's thinking that there won't be any strat tones in the HH1 are, are, are you know wrong because you you have got those two classic you know sort of position two.
That's great. Sounds superb. Yeah, it sounds really it sounds good. Sounds superb. One last thing to show you. This isn't terribly new. I'm pretty sure this is the same case that the last uh, series came with. Certainly the same case uh, that the Elite series comes with. So really nice case. Uh, Fender emblazoned. Um, and, oh, I've got it. Is that oh man, going? I could no. live in that case. Nice and shaped inside. Stuff, big pocket for all your gear. Structurally more uh, sound than my current house. <laughs> Such a shame that that's actually true. Um, <laughs> so there you go. And lightweight too, because it's just made of like an ABS plastic. So that's the nice case that comes free with this guitar series. Yes. Um, From, just, let's give them player's point of view. Let's do it. Because Do you know any players? I'm not allowed to, yeah. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do the marks out of 10 anymore, because Lee goes, I don't it's, do that. No, it's because we always forget. But anyway, no, just, just do players' points. Players', players points. points. If Kenny Wayne Shepherd likes it, I'd, I'd give it a 10 anyway. Uh, marks out of 10, I'd give a, I'd give a one. Um, I really, really, really like them. And I, I see through all of the, the neck thing and the fret thing. And, and really all I care about is do they look great and do they sound great? They really sound great yeah. and they really look great, especially that little bad boy. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I am struggling to feel any you know, noticeable difference between this. And I, I have a, uh, can't remember now, 2005, 2006 American Standard Strat, something like that. Maybe, it, can't remember what age it is, but it's something like that. And I'm not sort of picking this up, going, oh yeah, man, the deep sea, it's all about the deep sea. It's all about um, the deep D, bro. But, uh, but the, the pickups definitely, the pickups definitely ring out. I quite like what they've done with the tremolo arm. I, I like think that, that's yeah, kind it's of, a lot you know, more practical, man. Pretty minor I haven't thing, got one, but I, but I could pretend. Um, and the and the quality is great. I mean, I, I think you know there has been a small price rise. I think most of the price rises on on Fender stuff this year in the UK are probably more to do with the change in currency values rather than necessarily the you know Fender putting the prices up or anything. Um, so these are going to be a little bit dearer than than American Standard. I think these are somewhere around about the fourteen hundred e kind of mark. It's it's still going to be, I think. There's something about an American Fender Strat that's one of those bucket list, you know. It's got to yep. be part of your trifecta of total one. terror. Um, and again, I quite like some of the colours. The the sonic blue, sonic blue or sonic grey? Sonic grey, wasn't sonic it? Sonic grey, but that that one on the yeah, screen that you guys olive, can't see. Antique olive is absolutely my favourite looks, colour. Looks, I mean, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a, a Strat in that colour in the Fender range if, for ever. Yeah, if, if Fender Claws or Santa Fender wanted to deliver Fender one of those Claws. down my chimney, I wouldn't God. say no. Do you think Santa, yeah, mate, I wonder if Santa got a secret stash of these that he's going to get out over Christmas. Who knows? De anyway, Santa's and definitely let's not forget, stash. it's not Christmas anymore. No. It's now, it's going to be next Christmas. Yeah, I hope Christmas you had a great Christmas. I hope you had a I great Christmas. I hope you had Christmas. your heart's Maybe desires. you got one of these for Christmas. I hope you're all that enjoying awesome. feeling a bit fatter. Um, cool, let's jam out. Let's jam mm -hmm. out, let's do this. Nothing wrong with a good strat. It's great. I've been the captain. Oh, I've been Chappers. Au revoir. See you there. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>